when white supremacy comes for you, you pull out the power of the Ogun juice. <laughs> yeah, that should uh, repel white supremacy, right? My man got all the white supremacy, anti-white supremacy <laughs> devices, you know? Hidden colors, arm yourself with hidden colors <laughs> and get you some Ogun juice. Even though we're supposed to be foundational black Americans, he's, he's advertising some Ogun juice. Ogun juice survival package. <laughs> I mean, you talk about a fucking clown. And he has the nerve to say, everybody's getting there. It's sold out. You know, everything he says is a success. That's what he claims. But the truth is, he has to hype it up. That's the truth. And um, you just look at his anti-white uh, supremacy defense package featuring the Ogun pepper spray. I mean, come on, Ogun juice. You know this guy's a fucking idiot. He includes what? Package uh, 1804, which was a failed DVD with overstock. So he had to figure out a way to get rid of that shit. See, he realized that over the last year, he kept mentioning Dessaline, the Haitian Revolution, trying to make you say, oh, man, maybe maybe I need to find out more about that. Maybe I need to get my hands on some 1804. But he didn't realize that people didn't give a damn. See, he never, he doesn't stream his shit either. He should, but he doesn't. Maybe because of copyright, I don't know what it is. <laughs> or he doesn't get enough money. Or he just wants to make sure he gets all the money to himself. <clears throat> but that 1804 flop, now he has overstock. He has to get rid of it. That's why he included it in this Ogun package. And then on top of that, he included a book that he claims was banned <laughs> from Amazon, which I guess is supposed to make you want it more. If it was banned, I guess I got to have it. It was banned on Amazon because the shit was horrible. That's why shit wasn't selling. <laughs> That's why he's included it, including it in the package. And then a fucking towel. What? Well, you're supposed to wipe away uh, the, the, the pepper spray after you uh, sprayed the uh, white supremacists? I mean, come on. And the face mask for what? I mean, come on. <laughs> a fucking towel. Uh, what was it? A pair of socks. I'm sorry. A pair of socks. But you're supposed to say, hey, white man, don't you touch me. Pull up your pants leg. I got uh, I got the old goon. <laughs> don't, don't you do it. <laughs> I mean, this guy is a fucking joke. I mean, this man makes mockery of the black existence. And more and more people are catching on because I was watching his Instagram. See, he blocked me, so I didn't get the alert. Or I would have been on there. <laughs> but a lot of people went on there handling their business. And you see what some wanted real discussions. Others wanted to uh, joke with him because that's what he does. But see, when you start joking on him and winning, he wants to cut you off. And that's what they learn real quick. One man wanted a conversation. What is he doing? He's talking about. You have project walls, you're ugly, you're dusty. Like I tell you, I'm glad a lot of people are starting to realize this because it happens when you actually listen to him, not enjoy him. You listen to him and you will see what I've already seen. See, I analyze what people say. And again, he has nothing good to say about black people. Nothing. Everybody that's black to him is a nigga. Dusty. Broke. Living in the project. Section 8. That's how he feels about you. Everybody that comes on is dusty. The same thing. But yet, he wants your money. He said he was criticizing some people saying, oh, you living off a cash app or you, you guys think you got a cash app. You're doing something. And then 
This is the same guy who says, here's my cash app. Put something on the Melanoid Ministries. The guy's a fucking hypocrite. I mean, if you're going to take it, dish it out. How come you can't take it? Because he doesn't want to be humiliated. He's insecure. These are these kind of people. They're insecure. They don't want to look bad. They want to project and make it look look like they're bigger and better than what they are. He calls his wife black. But anybody else who's mixed like her, they're mixed. They're the tragic mulatto. How come his wife isn't the tragic mulatto? Oh, I see why. Because she's with him. And together they're a force fighting white supremacy. But she still loves her mother. See, this is why we can't fall for the stunts with these guys. <clears throat> they're full of shit. He constantly brags about what he has that he got from you. And then when it's time to hear from you, he says that you have Project Wall. If you do have project walls and you are dusty and broke and you don't want to be seen, why does he want to see you? So he can humiliate you. That's why. Because that's all he did with the people on that last D. Tubman upload, which is from yesterday. Which I would, I mean, I really wish I would have known about that. One of them had the comments on them. I don't know why that was and why the other ones didn't. But you can see what people were, would normally say about the guy. I don't like this water bottle. It has a bluish gray tint to it. it. Makes the water look like it's not clear. But the armor all one. Oh, no, not armor all. Body armor. I don't know who in marketing came up with that one. But anyway. <clears throat> That's what he does. He humiliates and insults black people. Can you think of anything good, anything positive this man has ever said? Somebody asked him about Nick Cannon. And the fact that Nick Cannon is buck broken. He didn't want to speak on it. Well, if you don't want to speak on Nick Cannon, why speak on anybody else that was buck broken? And now you can't even put the fucking buck broken shit out because you, you're not going to put Nick Cannon in. That was one of the latest episodes. <laughs> so I mean, if you're not going to put him in there, don't even make the shit. He's a fucking hypocrite, fucking liar and a fucking con man. I can't stand this guy. And next time I get on, see, I told you, See, people are seeing it now. I'm glad people are following suit, getting on there and, and trying to let them have it. But as you can see, as you can see, he's not really trying to let people uh, stay on long enough to let them have it. Because he knows what they'll do. He doesn't want to look bad, but he wants to make everybody else look bad. What kind of fucking entertainer is constantly insulting and belittling his audience? And then always trying to sell you something. The fuck you need some Ogun pepper spray for? I don't even know how much pepper spray costs, but I know it can't cost $60. With some extra bullshit that you don't want. The fuck you want? I mean, where do you get the idea for a pair of socks? Maybe the company that manufactured the pepper sprays. He's like, what else you got to throw in there to make it look like it's a deal? They said the cheapest thing we can come up with is some fucking cheap ass socks. I guess a tie, I guess socks are better than a towel, but guy, who the fuck wants to roll around with some fucking Ogun juice uh, socks? <laughs> I mean, come on. Let's get real. I mean, this guy is something else. He's always on a vacation with your money. You know I don't like Michi X because she's a con artist. This Grandmaster J, uh, that sounds like a Freemason name. Uh, obviously taking Jam Master J's name and, and shit. They still haven't found out who killed him and shit. For all we know, that's what it could be about. This Grandmaster J is obviously a phony 
Going from Black Lives Matter now, no, no longer Black Lives Matter, all lives matter. I told you all these people are fucking actors. It's hard for people to fathom because it's like, who, why would you, most people think, why would somebody do all this? And I keep giving you the fucking answer. It's world domination. Global control by small hats. That's what it's all about. When you have all the money and you pimp everybody with the money and Freemasonry, you can do this and you will do it. The shit is not sewn up for them, but it's practically sewn up for them. You know, there's still countries that they can't control because they're too strong militarily, mainly the Asian countries. But they control through the banks. That's how it works. I mean, <laughs> we, we just got to understand this with this Black Lives Matter. That's bullshit. And I keep telling people. The Michi X thing. Her support, he says, oh, she's down with him. She's an agent. Her, she was an agent already. He's the agent. But see, once he starts smelling that shit ain't right, he has to distance himself from people. That's how he does it. Same thing he did with Umar Johnson. And it's a fucking shame that that's the way it is, but this is the way it is. I mean, it's all about the control. People keep asking questions. Why would people do this? Why would people lie about Corona? Why would people do this? Why would they do that? Look at the NBA. No crowd. The people doing the TV are wearing masks and had little plastic shields up. You see plastic shields every in every store. So I watching a video about some guy in Canada going f eating some food and they had it up there. Ash, it's all visual. It's all psychological. It's brainwashing. It's visual. You have to see it. Because what do, what do naive people say or people who may be on the tape? What do they say? I didn't think it was real, but once they shut everything down, that showed me it was real. But again, and they keep saying white people are about their money. They ain't losing no money and shutting shit down. The people with the money are not losing a dime. Did you not see the stimulus check that they got? <laughs> That's more than enough to cover a whole lot of shit. They're supposed to be coming up with another one. And for what they saying, what it sounds like is another 1200 And the Republicans are arguing whether or not people should get a $600 <laughs> fucking uh, uh, unemployment uh, insurance extension. They want you to have about 400 or less. And black people are getting excited over uh, some Republicans saying Democrats are bad now. I mean, come on. These people are on the tape. They paid off their coons. And I told you it was going to happen this way. Because I told you that first stimulus, that shit was already pre-planned. Because they passed it without delay, without argument. And I told you the next one. That's the one where they're going to take their time with and fuck you over on. That's where they get back to their business as usual. Let's uh, start explaining why people can't get nothing. <laughs> you know, they made you think it was real the first time because they passed it so fast and it looked like, oh man, they're doing what's best for the country. But now it's the same, so it's supposed to be the same situation. They're trying to make it seem worse, but now they're trying to withhold money. We got, we got to stop this bullshit that's going on. You know, and this Tariq Nashi character and these other people keep acting like this Corona is fucking real. They say it because they're not sure. That's why some people say, I don't think it's as bad as it is. Or either way you want to put it, if you, you want to believe it's real, that's fine. But if you believe it's real, the stats tell you that it's not dangerous, that you're not dying and that you can get it. And I was arguing with some clown on a computer website about this Corona. 
And, um, <laughs> you know, they do the usual thing. Try to act like they're angry. Just like Black Lives Matter is people. Try to act like they're angry. If they're screaming and yelling, acting emotional, that's supposed to prove that shit is real. But me and this other guy were going at him, saying the stats. Statistically, see, they keep saying the numbers are going up, but then the deaths aren't going up. If the shit is real, statistically, it's zero death rate. And there's no getting around that. But then people want to give you the wrong number. Oh, 600,000 dead. I said, that's what they say. But even if it is 600,000 dead, out of how many is it supposed to be now? Two million? No, I don't think it's two million. I think it was a lot more than that. No, no, I think he says 600,000 worldwide, 160,000 in the U.S., I think. Supposedly dead. Small, minuscule numbers. Especially now when they're saying they were false positives. Uh, more people had it than they realized. You know, all this type of bullshit. Ten times uh, people may have it than they realize, all that kind of shit. So that makes the death rate go down to statistically zero. There's no getting around that. So if it's real, you can run into a million people. And it'll take you a while to run into a million people. And those million people won't have coronavirus. Now keep that in mind. This idiot, because you know what I always say, would you rather have herpes, AIDS, or corona? I said, out of the three, give me <laughs> a 10 times dosage of corona over herpes or AIDS anytime. The idiot said, people don't die of uh, herpes. I said, motherfucker, would you want it? <laughs> That's the question. People don't die of corona either. I'll take Corona. What, what do they keep saying They're all the time? They keep saying, once you get the shit, at least the people on TV, you get healed and it's all over with. So what the fuck is the panic all about? Dwayne Wade. No, not Dwayne Wade. Russell Westbrook said he had it. Next couple of days, it was all done. Now he's playing basketball because I guess he was supposed to not play. So they figured, let's go with the Corona as an excuse. And then he said, fuck it, I'll play. So now he doesn't have Corona now. It's all BS. But the main objective here today, we talking about this old goof juice and his fucking Tariq Nasheed and his fucking continued fraud. We just got to uh, stop this shit. I mean, because I'm tired of this guy constantly lying to the people and insulting the people. That's the main thing. The insults. I told you that's a constant trend with all these frauds is they keep insulting you. How many, Michi X included, they keep calling you dumb niggas, dumb motherfuckers, dumb this, dumb that. Oh yeah, you dumb asses. Why don't you hit me up on my cash app, like and subscribe. Dumb motherfuckers. That's what they all say. People must like abuse because uh, they do what they tell them. What is this? You're getting all this fucking spam. But yeah, man. So the people want to be serious with Tariq Nasheed. Every time they want to be serious and get some real information, <clears throat> that's when my man likes picking a fight. You know, and when the girl got on saying I got arrested. She's like, I don't have a lawyer. Look at his eyes. <laughs> he had that look like, oh, shit, I hope this girl don't try to hit me up for no lawyer's fees or some bail. But see, if she had. He's the one who set that precedent by trying to claim he paid that guy's bail. Seventy five hundred. That's what he claimed he paid. He keeps lying like that. To make it look like he's helping the people. Then he asks you for the fucking money. If he paid, you pay. 
You don't ask people for the money after you pay. I mean, come on, man is a fucking liar. And I was on the Lennon Honor uh, broadcast. I asked him to jump on Tariq Nashi because I figured, why wait for them to finally get to it? Put the suggestion out there on the air. You know, and hopefully they'll jump on him because Umar Johnson is practically beaten down to the point that he really can't come back. <laughs> so now that that's one hustler down, take on the biggest one. Everybody join forces, bring that fucker down. And the world will be a better place. But before I go, this is going to be a quick one. Um, I'm having a special. I'm going live on Saturday, 5.30 p.m. Sister Noble Levine Alberta Parish. She has a book called God is on Trial. That's right. Somebody is daring to bring God up on charges. So she is coming on. She's going to talk about her book and her charges that she's bringing against God. So I'd advise people to get on, have some questions ready, whether you want to get on live or in the chat. She said that she's going to be down to answer whatever. And you know how I got to do with this. This is, you know, I always keep it respectful and I'm doing this so people understand that you can come on here and you're not going di to get disrespected. I don't do that. Even if Tariq Nashi came on here, as long as he was cool, he wouldn't get disrespected. But, you know, we're going to uh, explore that situation about putting God on trial. As far as what I was able to ascertain, I'm going to let her speak for herself when she gets here, <clears throat> is that she once believed. But now she does not. She believes that God is fake. Religion is fake. She's going to explain why. And uh, I'm going to play devil's advocate. <laughs> uh, when, we, when we get to it. Get to that point. But, um, and you can see the promo or the link for when it's happening her book is available on amazon and another link that's there so you can check it out yourself so we're gonna uh see what's up we're gonna see you know what happens when god is on trial one thing that we do know is that there's a warrant out for god <laughs> and god has not been tracked down that's what we do know so far so Come on tomorrow at 5.30 and ask your questions and get ready. And in the meantime, don't bother buying that old goon juice because you, you see his excuse already. He said the actual standalone old goon juice is coming in August. And, and that's how he sells this shit. You got to listen to this guy is a fucking hustler. He figures people are dusty. They'll buy the shit. He says the actual standalone is coming in August, but right now there's a special introductory package. You know how they do on those infomercials? <laughs> the, the knives and all that shit, the special introductory package. Yours for only $19.99. Matter of fact, act right now, you get two for $19.99. Just pay separate shipping and handling. And then when you call them up, because I did it just to be funny, I said, yeah, I like to buy one of these. They said, cool. But I said, I only want one. I don't need two. I said, so I, you, I don't have to pay that extra shipping in England, right? They said, oh, sorry, sir. We're only selling two. <laughs> so you have to pay it. I said, but God damn it, I only want one. They said, that's the only way we're selling it. See, it's false advertising. They're not selling you one. If you didn't know already. <laughs> I mean, they're already trying to sell you two. They just want that extra money fake ass extra shipping and handling that you can't refuse and you can't refuse to because whatever the was it normally 6.95 extra 27 dollars for the two that's, that's how it is and i think the science behind that is if you have buyer's remorse 
And you're like, man, I don't know about this shit. You're like, damn, I did get two. I could give one away from me as a gift. I don't want to, you know, this is a good deal, so I might as well keep it. That's how they do it. All marketing. But um, he said, yeah, the, the standalone old goon juice is coming in August. But buy this for $59.99, this package deal of shit that couldn't sell otherwise. <laughs> and then you can save money. He try, He's trying to elude that the fact that the old goon juice is supposed to cost more or close to that price on his own. But he's just getting rid of old stock. He's trying to say, oh, man, we've been sending them out. People been getting them. That's what he said about the 1804. But the truth is, he has a whole bunch of shit sitting in his house. And he's like, I got to get rid of these shits. Because I used to uh, sell shit online uh, years ago, making pretty good penny. Uh, and when some shit didn't sell, I'm stuck with the shit. But I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, this shit is going one way or the other. So I'm like, we either doing two for ones. You know, something. Discount the price. Then we slowly phase it out. Watch the 1804. If he sells it out, that's not coming back. <laughs> it's not coming back. Because it flopped. That book of his flopped. He sells. He thinks he's a businessman. He's, if he didn't have YouTube social media to peddle his shit to idiots then he wouldn't really sell much before that he had the what a Ustream I was looking on that site just to see what fuck they at now I don't know why he even stuck with them for so fucking long but I think they're only for professional behind the door shit now <laughs> it's just fucking crazy how times have changed but Oh, yeah, I know what I want to speak on before I left. <clears throat> we better hope it doesn't happen to YouTube. But if it does, the business model is going to change for YouTube. Because I still see people investing in cameras and shit, expensive cameras trying to sell shit on YouTube. I mean, trying to, you know, sell their videos and shit on YouTube. That's what they're really doing. Um, comments in Yahoo. They were removed. That was one of the last sites with a whole lot of comments, even though they would e erase certain words and comments and shit. But I guess they're tired of people going on saying that the corona is fake and giving the facts to support it or the facts on the statistics, even though that's not propaganda from anybody's part saying that it's not dangerous. It's we just reciting the actual statistics that they give out. Some people know how to read it. Some people don't. I was just recording, digitizing some old videotapes I found. And yeah, some of them were some rare JFK documentaries. <laughs> and at the beginning of one of them, it was a quote from former CIA director Alan Dulles, who said something to the effect that most people in the United States don't bother to read. So you can get over on them because they'd rather hear something from the news, somebody saying it, a politician, a coon like Tariq, Na Tariq Nashi, uh, a house nigga like Young Pharaoh. If they tell you what their masters want you to know, and only that, this is what people go by because it takes too much time to read. That's how people get over on you with contracts. Aside from the language, you know, they make it long. Like this contract where I'm at for this apartment. I mean, you wouldn't believe how long this fucking lease is. Legal size at least 20 pages, <clears throat> legal size paper. I'm like, man, how the fuck? All those fucking rules, can you really, it's all the security asses in court. But anybody can get out of that kind of shit because, you know, you say, man, who the fuck will really read this shit? Let's get real. 
Um, but that's what they do. They put so much information and shit to bury shit. That's how you hear about people uh, getting beat out in record deals and shit like that. So that's what Alan Dulles said. He said the people don't read. He should know because he's a fuck. He was a CIA director and in charge of propaganda. So, <laughs> I mean, who the hell would wouldn't know? When you're in that position, I mean, come on. This cucumber lime water, the smart water, that shit is not good, but the uh, Popal one is with a little sweetness to it. That one actually tastes like what it's supposed to taste like, but yeah, so you hide it. And the, so that's what you, Yahoo comments did. They took away the comments. They put a survey. Why do you use the comments? What are you looking to get out of it? I told them straight up looking to get new information looking to see other people's perspectives and put my shit out there and see what the people think. I don't want to be dictated to. I don't want to be fed propaganda as news only. This is what I told them. As news only coming from one angle and this is what I'm supposed to accept and we're supposed to be like we're in a communist country. I said, damn that. And people are pointing out, yeah, they were trying to wait until the elections are over. I think it's about Corona. Whether you commenting on Corona, Disney, Star Wars, because, you know, they paid them to advertise Disney, talk about shit or whatever it is. That's that's how they make their money. It's ads disguised as articles. Oh, did you see this Uh, type of car? Look what's coming out. Man, this is fascinating. But it's paid for to create a buzz. But they don't understand. The comments keep see, pe- I'm sorry. The comments keep people coming back. That's what it does. <clears throat> Just like YouTube, the comments section keeps you coming back because if there were no comments, because you you know everybody who wants to read the comments too. If there were no comments, you just watch the video. That's that. You really got to download shit these days because you go back to so many channels you had uh, booked or a video you were planning on watching some other time and you go back to it, half of them are, are gone and shit. I get tired of that shit. But YouTube, if they took away the comments, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because YouTube is one of the last big sites with comments. I know they like to get rid of them because you see how they censor as it is. <clears throat> so they kind of know they have to keep them because if they get rid of them, the ratings will go down. Because I know I'll just watch a video and that's that. Won't even come back to it because you know we always come back to it. Somebody comments on the comment that you made, then you come back to it. But Yahoo, they didn't say they were permanently taking them away, but they suspended them. Why? I'm sure they're going to see their ratings go down. But like with the Corona, people say, oh, they want to make money. I told you they have the fucking money. Yahoo's owned by Verizon now. Verizon, yes, yeah, an Illuminati company, corporation. <clears throat> so they don't care about the money. It's about the control. That's all it's about. The control. Once they tell you if they don't want your comments, if you're too fucking smart. That's why everybody that comments talking about, because I told you they always have people who are agents who go commenting on things, social media workers who go working at commenting to say, okay, Star Wars is great. Disney Star Wars is great. You hate it. You critique it. They thumb you down and argue with you, try to bully you. Then when that shit doesn't work, they don't have too much to say. You keep telling them the truth. They back away. So when people get too smart, too wise, and they realize the bullshit isn't working, they don't want people to overpower the bullshit. They want their propaganda to prevail because it's their vehicles, their platform. 
So that's what that's all about. So when it comes to YouTube, they take the comments away. <laughs> that's going to be very interesting, to say the least. But it will pave the way for somebody else to come in and allow for free speech. But we'll see, because it's going to take money, too. And you know, Illuminati connected media platforms, social media platforms, they come together and get attention because they're a part of that network. Now, if you or I came out with something, you think it's going to take off like Facebook, TikTok? No. Because they got shit backing them. That's why. And then, then the shit gets promoted. <clears throat> Just like Tariq Nashi coming out with his bullshit app. And he tells you the shit ain't even working. They're still testing the shit out, but it's out there. But he wants you to put the shit on your phone <laughs> to possibly fuck your shit up. I mean, come on. This guy's a fucking, fucking clown. How are you going to be a foundational black American to selling some Ogun juice? We don't know what the fucking Ogun is. I mean, come on. So with that, I'm out. Stay tuned uh, tomorrow, 530 and uh, it's going to be live. It's going to be interesting. And then after that, I w really was trying to get it in for today, a, a different live. But that's going to make me jump back into it and do my thing. Because I got these topics, like I said, I've been working on. So with that, I'm out.